if you want to use our Android tablet as a secondary screen, um, we do have um, libvirt uh, available at GitHub, which you can use. Uh, but unfortunately, if you don't have an uh, Intergraphics, it often doesn't make problems. So, uh, what kind of workaround do we have to use uh, our Android tablet as a secondary screen? If you're okay with just moving mouse and copy data between the screens and not moving actually windows between screens, then uh, we can use the following. First, we need uh, a VNC server installed. This is a Tiger VNC installed. If you are on uh, OpenSUSE and running a firewall, you need to open the firewall port. So, um, you need, uh, besides the XVNC uh, server, you also need to install the following software. It's called Synergy. Uh, with Synergy, you can move uh, your mouse between the screens. Uh, we need QSynergy for the GUI uh, and um, also Quick Synergy. If you're running OpenSUSE, it's not in the main uh, main repository. You need to go to uh, software openSUSE.org, uh, search for Quick Synergy, and um, install uh, the meta package there um, for. I think on Ubuntu you can just uh, apt-get install it. So if you have selected the packages uh, to install, you click OK and let them install. If they are installed, the firewall port opened. Um, then you have to start the VNC server. You do this with uh, the command VNC server, geometry, uh, and then the resolution of your tablet. Uh, this is not the right resolution, this is the upright resolution. Um, we want to use uh, PDF documents or so, it's more convenient if you have them upright by 10 60. It's not 1080 because uh, the VNC view uh, uses some lines. So the VNC server is running. I already started it before. Um, if you have started the uh, VNC server, uh, we go to Android and um, install a VNC server viewer. A VNC viewer. Uh, I have installed several. I will open uh, the first one in this list. It's a real VNC viewer. I open it. Then you have to set up a new connection. Uh, you enter the address for the server and the port. If you have the port 1, it's um, 5901. I already entered this here. And um, then you need to start Quick Synergy. So I do this here. Uh, if you've installed Quick Synergy in uh, XFC, um, you always have to. You have to have the manual started with uh, the command quick synergy, um, but that's to way of a hassle. So I um, made a new uh, starter, entered the location for quick synergy, and um, then I can easily start the launcher from the desktop. Oh, that's a search here. So it's a uh, user bin quick synergy and user bin. And then you give a symbol to it. I use the symbol for synergy. And um, if you have started, let's stop this at the moment. So 
if you start it you enter localhost or 127.0.0.1 and give it a name if you've given a name you click on execute go to um, the main screen and there you can figure your screens you pull down a monitor to the position where your um, tablet is give it a name if it, I've given it the name click on OK and then you simply click on start and your tablet should connect because it's localized you don't need to open a firewall port so then we can move easily between the screens so but there is an issue if you have um, the same session you need to confine it on the right screen I have QDE, KDE open on the left screen is um, is uh, XFC because if you would use for the same user the same desktop variables your uh, files meet could be mixed up so you need two different um, uh, desktop environments so you won't get problems to start actually start XFCE you need um to write this into the home directory at dot vnc under your home directory you need to open the file x startup in x startup you need to have these lines copied there if you're running OpenSUSE, it might be different for ubuntu or for different if you've opened this then your XFCE session will start on the monitor. So now you can move. And uh, what happens if you want to use LibreOffice uh, spreadsheet or something on more screens? Now in the background we have uh, the big screen running at the moment. There is um, LibreOffice running. I have another LibreOffice window on this screen, but if we try to open another LibreOffice window on this screen, it will actually open on the big screen again. LibreOffice does not allow multiple instances of if you install it freshly. There is a lot, it's possible, but it's a lot, a lot of fiddling. So how can we work around? So we have different options we can either use um, uh, softmaker plan maker and we can also use this on this screen so it just does work so we have um, or we can also use um, on this side we can use uh, numeric we can use numeric on this side uh, do our stuff here and hope that it copies over to this screen oh, it doesn't work right so you see it does not work right so what happens if we use our commands here so, does it copy let's have a look does it copy over here no, it does not. So this makes things complicated. One single line. No, PlanMaker does not copy over files. So what about WPS? Let's look at WPS. A new tab. New spreadsheet. MD table. Then we open WPS WPS on this screen again new tab Excel so then we open a new you open it does it open 
So let's have a look. We copy this. We'll see. There we go to the second screen. And here it copies. So I can copy this line. So can I actually copy between several lines? Let's do copy. Let's do paste. And yes. So let's check it again. Does Softmaker copy between? Nope. Softmaker does not want. Nope. Softmaker does not want it. What about LibreOffice? Can I copy it here? Automatically. So this is what copies to LibreOffice. Then let's copy it back to PlanMaker. Oh, this copies. Okay, PlanMaker does work. So let's get again to WPS. Copy several lines. Copy them over. Okay, this is there obviously formation differentials so let's again let's look at WPS where's WPS? no that's not WPS so where did we leave WPS? oh there, here so WPS so let's have a formula do formulas work? so file 4 5 uh, where is uh, hmm. so does the formula work? Can I copy the formula? Move it over. There is. It does not copy the formulas, it only copies the uh, numbers. So can I copy actually between the same, on the same computer, between this one and that one? No, this is just copies in, this inserts uh, an image. Let's have a look at numer numeric. So, what does numeric do? It's only the numbers. So, let's go again to here. Where am I now? Oh, wait. So, just again, four, five. Again, again, so let's copy here. Yep, you cannot copy uh, formulas between the screens, but you can copy the numbers. Did this copy over? This was the number. So, where is this again? What did I say for here? So control C. Control V. No, it's just the numbers. So um, copying formulas between scheme doesn't work. So uh, you cannot use LibreOffice without fiddling, but you can use um, WPS. With um, Plan Maker, it allows copying is um, LibreOffice, but not WPS. Uh, I think uh, the best solution is here uh, to stay with uh, WPS at the moment. I think, yeah.
this would be solution uh, if you don't want to uh, use um, proprietary software you need to use uh, numeric on the left side and um, LibreOffice on the right side if you don't mind using uh, uh, clusters then you can use uh, WPS on both sides it appears to be the best solution in this case uh, the other programs they just work as you want it uh, I mean you have one open one uh, browser on the left side and you have the other browser on the right side so it does work 